I would like to get a bit of um prediction from you. I mean, when you look at the organic sector right now, especially in the United Kingdom, where do you see it, um, let's say, five to ten years from now? And what are some of the areas, when you look from an organic perspective, that gets you excited? Wow. Well, I, I think at the moment, I think there's some, I can only really speak about it from a sort of market and certification perspective. Mm. I think from a market perspective, we've got plenty more ceiling for growth. I mean, in the UK at the moment, as great as growth has been in organic food and drink, we're yeah. still under 2% of all food and drink. So we've got a, a long way to go in terms of, you know, winning the, the, the trust of new consumers, getting them to try organic products. And, and I'm confident that uh, many consumers would not turn back once they've tried uh, some of the fantastic products that there are out there. Yeah. Um, and, and, and indeed, many people historically who are quite uh, 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 loyal to organic and see, see our, our symbol there over my shoulder as, yeah. as a shortcut to a quality mark because their experience of the products is, is so very often so positive. Yeah. So we've got to get people to try products and, and understand the basics. And I think we've got a lot of... Uh, movement there i think in terms of certification it's an really interesting i think we we set up the certification uh, subsidiary sort of association certification at sort of association uh, back in 1973 uh, when i was still a twinkle in someone's <laughs> eye you know so yeah. that is a very very long time ago and one of the reasons for setting standards and creating certification yeah. uh, was not just to protect uh, our market but also um, it was really about um, compensating for the anonymity in our food supply chains. You know, mm. you and I cannot walk into uh, factories, food factories. You know, there are rules, there yeah. is biosecurity, uh, and understandably so. But we can't do that. So, so certification in many ways is the uh, we're the eyes and ears of the consumer, yeah. uh, and that's why we 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 you know propose our symbol as a symbol of trust. Yeah. Um, but equally, and we're independent and, and we are a not-for-profit and that's really important. But in the future, I think information technology is advancing so fast that there may be, there's there's a great deal of scope for more transparency for mm. consumers to virtually uh, visit places to get more information about the supply chain and importantly, where their product has come from and how that's affected the people that grow that product and yeah. the environment in that in the area. And if we can show this information in a robust and credible and trustworthy way, then maybe the role of certifiers will change. And yeah. I think uh, maybe it won't, but it's certainly an area uh, I personally find really interesting, the, the whole issue of how traceability, transparency and trust will change with technology.